7.5c, Algebra 1, graph using slope-intercept equation. We can use the information from an equation in slope-intercept form to graph a line onto a coordinate plane. We just got to make sure that the equation is in the correct form first, and we can use additive inverses to put it that way. So if we have y minus 7 equals a negative 3x, that's not in slope-intercept form. So we can add 7 to each side. That'll isolate the y to one side. See, we solve for y. And now we have y equals negative 3x plus 7. It's in slope-intercept form. We see our slope is a negative 3, and our y-intercept is a 7. The first thing we do is we mark the point of the y-intercept at 7 on the y-axis. Then we count the slope as negative 3, see? And we put it over a 1, so we have our rise over our run. We count three units down, because it's negative, and one unit to the right, because it's positive, and we mark that point. Now we have two points. So take a look at this. We've got y equals negative 3x plus 7. We know from the equation that we have a negative slope, because it's a negative 3. So our line's going to fall to the right, isn't it? We already know what direction it's going to go. So the first thing we do is we mark the point here at 7 on the y-axis. That's the y-intercept, the 7. See? We count down three spaces, 1, 2, 3, because we have a negative 3. And because we wrote it as a negative 3 over 1, we know our rise over our run, so we know our run is going to be 1 to the right because it's a positive 1. We're going to move it to the right. There's our slope right there. It's three, negative 3 over 1. Then all we have to do, because we have a point here and now we have a point here, is just connect the lines. Connect the points, I mean. And we just draw the line. See, we have a negative slope because it's falling to the right. So, when we do this, here's a negative slope. We're going to come down when it's a negative number, and then we're going to go to the right. And when it's a positive slope, we're going to count up and then go to the right. See that? So depending on whether it's negative or positive, so anytime the equation has a positive number for the coefficient of x, anytime that m is a positive number for the coefficient of x, the line's going to rise to the right. We know it's going to be positive. And anytime the equation has a negative number for the coefficient of x, anytime that's a negative, we know that the line will fall to the right. It's going to go down this way. See? If the slope is a whole number, we just write it as a fraction with a, with a 1 as its denominator, and then we get the rise over the run. And remember, the b is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, so that's where it crosses the y-axis. And if you see something like y equals 1 3rd x plus 4, that's even easier because it's already in a fraction form. We know that's the rise and that's the run. The rise is 1 and the run is 3. See? And it's positive, so we know that the line is going to go up this way, so the rise is 1, we'll count up 1, and our run is a 3, so we'll count over 3. See? That's our slope. Now our next video, 7.6a, we're going to write an equation from a line. See? Now we made a line from an equation, now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to write an equation from a line. And if you want to see the description of this video, there's going to be links for the meaning of slope, slope-intercept equation of a line. We did that the last video. Graph using intercepts or the slope from an equation. Those are all be, they'll all be in here in the description. You can just click on them. And I'm going to put a link to my 8th grade math linear equation playlist because that'll help you. And there's a lot of Algebra 1 in there. And like I've been saying, this Algebra 1 playlist just goes into more detail. Okay? I'll see you next video. I hope you're doing okay. Keep trying. We're going to make it through this. Bye.